Hi, it's Katrina. Diamonds are forged in the heat and pressure of the Earth's mantle between 200 and 500 miles inside the planet. But did you know sometimes they have secrets? From proof of the Earth's deepest ocean to the first living organism ever, here are 10 amazing things found inside diamonds. Number 10. Harzbergite Inclusions Harzbergite inclusions are a form of peridotite rocks, which are the most common rocks in the Earth's mantle. These inclusions are so common that scientists are able to date diamonds by dating the inclusions inside of them. At Amsterdam's Vrij University, scientists have been studying 26 diamonds with Harzbergite inclusions. They've determined that nine of these diamonds were formed three billion years ago when the megacontinent Pangaea broke apart into smaller continents. This split caused superheated pockets deep beneath the ground. They also found that 10 diamonds were only 1.1 billion years old, which, while that sounds extremely old, it is quite young from a geological standpoint. Most diamonds are closer to between 2 million and 3.5 billion years old. This makes these some of the youngest diamonds ever found. Number 9. Boron Molecules There are four qualities that determine the value of a diamond, but you probably know this already. Cut, color, carrot, and everybody say with me now, clarity. Good! Carrot is the weight of a diamond, and it's an obvious basis for value. The heavier the diamond, the bigger it is, and therefore usually the more it costs. Color is important because some colors are rarer than others. The two rarest diamond colors are blue and red. Diamonds gain their colors from the chemical molecules that they contain. Blue diamonds are blue because they contain boron, which is common in the surface of the world, but much rarer in the deep mantle where blue diamonds are formed. Scientists are stumped about how the boron got so deep into the mantle in the first place, but it is most likely that they arrived as a result of tectonic activity. When a denser tectonic plate collides with a lighter tectonic plate, the dense plate goes under the light plate and casts its boron, its water, and other substances like methane and hydrogen into the deep mantle with extreme force and high temperatures where diamonds can then form around them. Number 8. Kyanite Another molecule that turns diamonds blue is kyanite, which is a semi-precious stone in its own right. It is rare, but sometimes diamonds contain kyanite, which most often turns the diamond blue. Kyanite is used in heat-resistant ceramics and can be found in sinks and bathroom fixtures. It is also used in manufacturing where heat resistance is important. Kyanite was formed during the days of Pangaea, and it's got a distinctive structure that makes it easy to identify when it's found on its own. It's a metamorphic stone that's formed under extreme pressure, and its nature is so consistent that it's used as an index mineral. This means that when kyanite is found in another metamorphic rock, it can tell scientists exactly what temperature, depth, and pressure was present when the host metamorphic rock was formed. The rarest color of kyanite is white, but the most common is blue or green. It can also come in gray, green, orange, and yellow. If diamonds contain any of these versions of kyanite, the diamond will take on that color. And now for number 7. But first, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you are new here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back! Number 7. Extraterrestrial Carbon Pure carbon exists in three forms. Graphite, Buckminster Fullerene, and of course, diamonds. There are two other forms of carbon as well, and their existence was postulated long before it was proven. These two other forms are made of mutated carbon atoms, which have the distinction of being harder than diamonds. They're not from around here, though. The only examples of these mutated carbon atoms were found in the Havero meteorite that landed in Finland in 1971. This type of meteorite often has graphite and diamond, so it is believed that these mutated carbon atoms began as graphite, but were superheated when the meteorite entered the Earth's atmosphere. This incredible heat caused a chemical reaction that affected the carbon atoms that were present in the graphite, turning it into something completely different, from space. Kind of like the way labs make artificial diamonds. The BBC reports that the samples that were obtained from the meteorite were too small to be properly studied, but when researchers used diamond paste to polish a slice, some other materials started coming out of the surface. They discovered a type of diamond that was predicted to exist a long time ago, but had never been seen in nature. It's too bad the crystals were so small, because there was a lot we might have been able to learn from them. Number 6. Carbon-12 In 1983, 22 diamonds were found in the Jack Hills in Western Australia. These diamonds were made of carbon-12, 
also known as light carbon, which is only formed from living organisms. Earth is estimated to be about 4.54 billion years old, and scientists from UCLA just recently shared with the public that they had found biogenic carbon that dates back to 4.1 billion years. Rocks don't even date back that far, but minerals known as zircons were found to have crystallized 4.4 billion years ago and locked inside was the carbon-12. For years, scientists believed that single-cell organisms didn't appear until 3.5 billion years ago, long after the diamond was formed. The fact that carbon-12 appears in a diamond that predates the presumed appearance of life indicates that the geological timeline might need to be changed. While it's not a fossil, it is some sort of living remains of something. Some scientists don't believe that single-cell organisms could have existed on Earth when the diamond was formed. The only other potential source of this carbon-12 would have been meteorites, which would imply maybe even the more unsettling thought that there is life of some kind somewhere out there in the universe outside of our planet. Number 5. Calcium Silicate Perovskite Calcium silicate perovskite makes up almost 38% of the Earth's volume. Did you know that? But it's still incredibly rare to find. The best sample that scientists have obtained came from a meteorite. Here on Earth, it's the fourth most common substance, but when it gets closer than 400 miles to the surface, it becomes unstable and breaks down. Stable samples of calcium silicate perovskite are hard to obtain because the mineral can only exist deep in the Earth's mantle, too deep to reach through drilling. In fact, the mantle is so deep and so unreachable that much of the nature of this thing is something that scientists have only been able to guess at. Like the ringwoodite coming up, a sample of calcium silicate perovskite was found in a diamond mined a mile beneath the Earth's surface at Cullinan Diamond Mine in South Africa. The diamond itself is also extremely rare. Although it was discovered less than a mile beneath the surface, geologists and gemologists believe that it's actually what's called a super deep diamond. Super deep diamonds form at levels between 93 and 124 miles down. Pressure at this depth is more than 240,000 times greater than pressure at the surface, and it's at this extreme force that calcium silicate perovskite is stable. The diamond formed around the mineral, entrapping it and also protecting it for its journey to the surface. Number 4. Ferropericlase The Earth's mantle is extremely thick, and most diamonds are formed in the upper and middle bands. It's very rare for diamonds to be found that were formed in the deepest levels of the mantle. The Gemological Institute of America, however, thinks they found some from this super deep level based on the discovery of diamonds with ferropericlase. Evan Smith was examining a 1.54 carat fancy light pink type 2A diamond when he saw what he called a spectacular ferropericlase inclusion. This picture, also known as a photomicrograph by Evan Smith, shows the changing iridescent colors of the inclusion. Ferropericlase changes its color depending on the angle of the light and the angle from which it's observed. The reason it responds this way is not known, but most likely it's because of the presence of magnesioferrite, in case you were wondering. Number 3. Ringwoodite Geologists speculate that there's an ocean trapped inside the Earth's mantle, 320 miles inside the planet, or at least a very, very large amount of water that is trapped in a specific layer of the deep Earth. The ocean in question is held within a green mineral called ringwoodite, which only exists in an area between the upper and lower mantle called the transition zone. Ringwoodite can only be formed under the extreme heat and pressure that exists deep underground at, say, 320 miles deep. On the rare occasions that it's been removed from the mantle, it transforms into another substance once the heat and pressure are gone. It's been almost impossible for scientists to study ringwoodite in its natural state, Everything has been from meteorites and laboratories, until now. An ugly looking diamond was found in Brazil, but to geochemist Graham Pearson from the University of Alberta, it is proof that the ocean exists. Trapped inside the diamond, perfectly preserved was a tiny piece of ringwoodite. He was trying to date the diamond when he discovered the ringwoodite inclusion, and he believes that this mysterious material must have been brought up to the crust during an earthquake and the diamond formed around it. This diamond with ringwoodite demonstrates a mantle transition zone and solved the debate about whether or not there is water. The ringwoodite is 1.5% water and shows that there could be a huge amount from 254 to 410 miles deep in the Earth. Number 2. Ice 7 There are several different types of ice in the world. 
The standard ice for us, the kind we put into our drinks, is called ice one, and its oxygen atoms form hexagons. If ice one is put under pressure, it converts to ice two. More pressure makes ice three, and so on. So you can imagine ice seven. It is actually created in the laboratory, and scientists believe it is common on icy moons like Titan and Europa. They never believed that it existed naturally on Earth. That is, until I-7 was actually found inside a diamond. Diamonds form in conditions of great heat and pressure, and as we've already seen, they can form around tiny pieces of other materials. Since scientists believe that water has been brought down under the crust through the natural movement of tectonic plates, it's not too much of a stretch to believe that diamonds could form around molecules of water. But ice? Ice needs coal to form. So how does that happen? When diamonds form around other substances, which are called inclusions, the substance inside the diamond remains under the same pressure it was under when the diamond formed. Diamonds don't change their atomic structure under pressure, so they're perfect capsules for the things they contain. When the diamonds form, they trap bubbles of extremely dense water. As the diamond moves up in the crust, again as a consequence of tectonic plate shifts, the heat around the diamond decreases. The temperature of the water in the diamond gets colder and colder, but the pressure it's under remains the same. The combination of colder temperatures and high pressure creates the only environment on Earth where ice 7 can form. Ta-da! Number 1. Liquid Metals Like water, metals can be caught inside diamonds as they form. These little impurities or inclusions make jewelers discard them as subpar, but to scientists, these impurities can speak volumes. Large diamonds containing metal inclusions are rare. There have been 53 diamonds found with these impurities inside them. By studying these diamonds, scientists have been able to determine that the area of the Earth's mantle where diamonds form is a metal-rich soup of iron, nickel, carbon, and sulfur. By analyzing the isotopic structure of the metals they find inside diamonds, scientists can learn how those metals form and change in the Earth's mantle, as well as how they interact with other elements. One thing that scientists didn't find inside diamonds was oxygen, which was a surprise. Scientists once believed that the center of the Earth was rich with oxygen, but if that was true, then there would be many diamonds with oxygen inclusions. The lack of this finding has rewritten everything people thought they knew about the center of the Earth. Thanks for watching! Were you surprised diamonds held so many secrets? I was! Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time! Bye!